not even a week ago. We covered this research paper on the channel where we talked a little bit more about what generative agents are and how they're deployed in their own simulation. And it basically talks a little bit more on how you can deploy autonomous agents within an interactive environment. And just today, there is a group of researchers and developers who dropped their own project that was inspired by the generative agents research paper called the AI Town. And this is a virtual town where AI characters live, chat, and socialize. Now the AI Town project is a deployable starter kit for easily building and customizing your own version of an AI Town. Now this is just the foundations that the developers have created so it's meant to be extended upon for your own preference and this is something that I'll state basically showcase throughout today's video as to how you can actually install it, what you can actually do with AI Town and talking a little bit more about certain things that are correlated with the project. So with that thought guys. Before we actually get into the video, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go check out World of AI on Twitter. Definitely follow so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's get right into the video. Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. As we talked about at the start. AI Town was actually a deployable starter kit for creating virtual towns inhabited by AI characters. Now this is the primary objective of this project as it offers developers a foundational framework to build and customize their own versions of AI towns. Now these towns are interactive environments where these characters can basically chat, socialize, and engage in different types of conversations while simultaneously working with their daily activities. You can see certain people are walking, farming, you have a well, cutting down trees. I don't know, I'm not too sure about the trees, but you have trees and you have different activities within this virtual environment. And if you just click on a random character, for example, Stella, she has her past conversations recorded uh, in terms of how long you had this web page open, but you can see you they're simultaneously working having different chats as the agents are operating within this environment and this is something that i'll showcase throughout this video as to how you can install it locally and how you can develop your own virtual town with the framework that ai town has created so with that thought let's get right into the video and let me showcase how you can actually install it in terms of installation there's a couple things that you will need to prepare before we actually start installing ai town Firstly, you will need Git, and this is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Python. Uh, thirdly, you will need Visual Studio Code. Fourthly, you will need an API key that is connecting to an actual active billing account. And lastly, you will also need a Pinecone account. So once you have these things settled, we can get right into the installation process. Once you have finished installing the required applications, we will now move on to the next step where we'll go on to the repository link now i'll leave this link in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily but once you're onto the github repository you can click on this green button at the top of the page and copy the link for the repository now once you have done that you can scroll down a little bit to the code area and what you want to do now is open up command prompt and type in git clone and paste the link over here now you want to click enter and it will start cloning the repository onto your computer. Once the cloning is complete, you can get into the AI town folder by typing in CD AI dash town and click enter. Once you're in the AI town folder, you can start installing the requirements that are needed for this application by typing and pasting this command into the command prompt and click enter. Now it will start installing the required requirements for the application so this might take a couple seconds but once it is done i'll be right back now guys the next command is npm run dev now if you are to input this into command prompt it's actually gonna fail as they said it's gonna fail for asking for environment variables as you need to input and set up a clerk and open ai api key as well as inputting your pinecone key so what you need to do now is open up the dashboard.convex.dev website and what you want to do is set up an account with your github or your google account secondly what you want to do is set up a clerk account so you can just click on these two links set up account and we'll get to the next step 
Once you have your clerk account set up, you can just click on add application. And once you're here, you can name it anything you want. So in this case, I'm going to just name it world of AI. And once I have that set, you can just create the application. Now, once this is done, we'll get to the next step where we'll be able to access the API keys that are associated with the clerk. Once that is finished, you'll be able to access the keys right here, which will be required to have the application run on your local host. So have this ready on the side. Now on clerk, you will also need to create your JWT templates. Now you can do it with convex. So once you click on convex, you can go down and apply changes what you want to do next is have your api key ready as well make sure it's connected to a billing account so you can utilize the full extent of the application now in this case have this ready create your key so it's basically ready to input it into your .m file the next step revolves around setting up your pinecone account so what you want to do is click on this link and make an account and it's easy and it's free to do so so once you have done that you can get onto this page where it will talk about the indexes and this is where we're going to actually create the index now click on this and give it a name whatever you want it type in the demand or the dimension sorry 1536 as they stated over here and you want to create this index with the same presets that it gave it now you will need the environment over here and now you will need to also create an api key now you can you don't need to connect this or anything so don't worry about this but over here in terms of the api key you can create an api key name it world of ai or whatever you wanted to name it with the project i'm just name it world of ai so it's easy for me to track and have this ready in the meantime moving on to the next step we'll open up visual studio code and this is where we open up the folder of ai town so select this folder then go on to .env.local and this is where we're going to paste the actual clerk uh, API keys. So in this case, they have it ready for us. So you just copy the clerk, set up the clerk account, go back on to Visual Studio Code, remove and input your secret key and your publishable key over here. So now that I finished this, you can just click save and you're basically ready to now go to the next step. Now, once you have finished installing the requirements, what you need to do next is add the secrets to the convex dashboard. And this is by copying this link and pasting it into your command prompt. Now we can see over here, it says uh, to set up, run the NPX convex dev command. So I pasted that into the command prompt and it's asking me a couple questions, device name, what device you are on and open in browser. So I'm going to type in yes. Now it will now start opening the environment for the convex dashboard on my browser over here. Now you can click confirm and once that is done, you're all set. So now you can start inputting the different API keys that are needed over here. Now, if you are to refresh the convex dashboard, you will notice that there is an AI town file over here and this is where the project has been now confirmed to this convex dashboard now this is where you're gonna input the different api keys and environments which i'll show once this finishes loading because it takes a while loading this application so you want to keep this in mind as you're running the convex dashboard now once it has finally loaded up you can click on settings and this is where you're going to input your different variables for the environment so what you want to do is go back onto the repository copy the different codes that are here so for your open ai key api key you can go back onto convex type in the name and then paste the api key from your open ai account now once that is done you do that for each and every one of them now guys for the next step we're going to set up the clerk issue url and this is where we actually created the jwt template so you want to click on the jw template click on the convex environment or the template that we created copy the jwks endpoint and go back onto con or yeah convex and then paste this value over here and then click create now once that is done you can do the same thing for the pinecone you just go on pinecone it's fairly easy copy your api key that you created copy the environment and paste it into the 
the desired places so the name goes here which you can copy over here the names will be all of these and the api keys are the things that you generated now in terms of the index name you need to make sure that you input the correct index name and this is the one that you just created so in this case i named mine world of ai and this is the dimension thing that we talked about at the start and you input that as your value so i have this as world of ai so once you have all this set up you're basically ready to start running the application now that we have set all the variables you can just run the code and it will then prompt you to your local host in which you can access ai town and you can see over here you can do many different things see all the different types of agents that are in the virtual environment and you can see that they're chatting doing different things that we talked about at the start of the video now before we actually end off i want to talk a little bit more about the architecture of this project now there's three key components for it uh, firstly it's the simulation engine secondly is the ai character models lastly is the interactive framework now the simulation engine is basically providing the whole application as well as the ai agents within the environment a way to interact move and perform various actions now in terms of the ai character models there's different ai agents that are generated using different types of language models now in this case we utilize open ai uh gpt models to help you create the agents so this is how the ai character models are developed now lastly for the key component we have the interaction framework and this is used to manage the different interactions between ai characters and through these three key components you're able to see the functionality of ai town now if you want to actually tweak and play around with ai town with your own preferences you can definitely do so as this is a starter kit that is designed to be extended to be built upon and customized so definitely check out and run the commands further down below in the repo as you can do certain things such as seeding it running it with your own preference uh creating a new world with different agents so if you want to play around with that definitely check the commands out in the description below but that basically concludes today's video if you have any sort of questions regarding the installation or anything with ai town definitely leave it in the comment section below or with our private discord now with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity make sure you give world of ai a follow and if you guys haven't subscribed please do so but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas